Okay, so this time we are going to demonstrate managing server-to-server -server replication with Storage Replica using Windows PowerShell. The module you'll use is just called Storage Replica, and uh, really the key is new SR partnership. You see here I'm typing it with uh, a source computer name of SR08, uh, the Redmond server that I'm on. You can sort of see that floating toolbar down there. I'm specifying some made-up RG name of my own invention and a source volume and a destination. Those could be drive letters, they could be mount points, uh, if it was a cluster they could be CSV paths, uh, and then specifying the uh, the opposing server, the destination, uh, in this case SR09 Bellevue. And then I'm also tacking on a log size in bytes. And the replication has been created so now we need to take a look and see what's actually happening. So I'm still on the source server. I take a look at the uh, event log for storage replica. And now I'm on the destination server. I'm going to bring up performance monitor here to take a quick look at the amount of data being copied. Uh, you can see here from these counters that I've already sent along 4 gig of data and if you take a look on the source, you can see that I'm still sending along data there just because of I.O. happening. If I look in the uh, admin event log on the source, 08, I can see when I configure replication and as each step, what happened. Very clearly explained, simple text, informational events, no false warnings, nothing to learn to ignore as you sometimes see in the event logs. Back on 09, if I look at the operational event log, I can see when the destination started doing replication, up to and including precisely how long initial replication took of my 4 gig of data. And I can see uh, individual details of progress, such as these 1237 events that show me how, you know, every so often how much data has been copied, almost like a progress bar in the event log. And of course, I also have the option here to create some load and now take a look operationally at those performance counters and see what's going on. So here I'm running disk speed it's a freely downloadable tool from TechNet. And here on the source, I can see exactly what's happening with my storage replica performance counters. And on the destination, I can see the same.